All right, so what we're going to attempt to do here is uh, I'm going to start it up. I will put the brake on this side, and I'm going to turn the, the tires on that side uh, with the hopes of being able to find that master link. Not the easiest thing to do in the world because uh, I don't have the seats on the inside <laughs> and uh, it's not easy to do because there's not a heck of a lot of space when the seats aren't in and I have some compartments that are moved. So again, just letting the glow plugs go. I'm sure you're getting familiar with the whole process of this thing. doing here again is, is I'm I got it first gear I'm going to break that side and try to find that master link so basically what I'm going to have to do with that I think I got a chunk of chain in here. This is stuff actually from the tool kit from the Sherp. Comes with it. So essentially I've got this chain in there right now, right? And I have got to take off the master link. Um, basically what I'm doing on the inside of the Sherp right now is I have it turned around where a spot where I can take off this master link. Um, so it's going to be kind of a challenge in there because there's not a lot of space. Looking through the toolkit that did come from Sherp, um, there's just this, this nice little uh, chisel almost thing in there. So what I'm planning to do here, I'm going to turn this and it will have that and I can lift it up. And I don't know if you can see that, but this side's up a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing to the other side. And you're just turning and lifting at the same time. When the chain is tighter, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to do it than it is here on the bench. But there it is. And that's all you have to do. And then you just pull the chain. Master link off. There it is. Pull the chain off. Okay, so I made some progress. I got that master link off. You can now see that gear is kind of all mixed up. Um, the reason for all those ropes right now is just to make sure that when I try to go and put that master link back on again, when this is all repaired, uh, it'll be a hell of a lot easier. So that's my theory. We'll see if that actually works. Now to the next section to figure out what's going on. So hopefully you can see that nut that's right down there in the bottom. I have to take that nut off. Uh, the reason being is that entire uh, sprocket adjuster assembly is one unit. Uh, so I'll pull that whole thing out right there. After we take that nut off. Uh, so that bolt that that nut is connected to actually goes on the outside of the Sherp, so I have to take the front uh, tire off in order to get to that. Kind of a little bit of a pain, but we're getting there. Well, unfortunately, I'm getting pretty good at taking this darn tire off. So this is the only tire that's on the whole Sherp that you actually have to take a bolt off in order to get that chain tensioner off. It's just the way it's designed because that's where all of the levers are located at. That's also where the hydraulics units are at. There's just a lot of stuff in a very tight space. That's the reason it's like that. Hopefully I'm not going to have to reseal that tire bead again. That bolt is right there. So again, this bolt uh, basically goes all the way through to the inside. I, did, I don't have that nut taken off all the way. I don't want to drop it. Um, what I'm trying to do is pull that out because there's a whole frame sitting right there and that's what's holding that idler sprocket. So I, it appears to me that whole shaft is busted or bent, but I don't know that yet. We'll get closer. That's good news. She's unthreading, which makes me happy. Nut on the inside, unfortunately. I'm 
Well, I think I'm impressed with myself. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to try. But just as a reminder again, I am attempting to get, see if I can find something to point with. So right there at the end of that wrench is a frame right here that this idler wheel sprocket sits on. So the challenge is, is I can't get that bugger to pull up. So what I did is I took a belt. I took that belt right there and I put it to a strap at which I put it to a two by four right here all the way across. And I'm just trying to ratchet this sucker up right here, hoping this is gonna come. It's the first time I'm doing it. It was a good idea that unfortunately did not Here's work. I ended up having engine. to bend that frame that that whole assembly is sitting on just a little bit because there was a little bit of an indentation coming in on the outside wall that you can't see. Success, I got it out. You can see that that sprocket is not aligned correctly. Uh, I think if I just take that sprocket off, I think I could bend that shaft back, maybe be able to support it a little bit on the inside, put her back together again, and I think she'll be good as new. But we will see. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I hit a little milestone. I got 1,000 subscribers, so Yahoo, appreciate that means a lot just got to get my watch hours up this certainly isn't the way that i wanted to try to do that i was hoping it was going to be through exciting adventures they are coming guaranteed but we got to get this bugger fixed first before i can do that hope everything's going well take care toodaloo bye bye